Hey guys, it's Ashley and it is time for our next installment of Change Your Perspective with me, Ashley. And I want to talk about this week a destination I just recently got to go to and that was Croatia and Bosnia. And I have to say it was one of the most amazing experiences that I have had traveling. What I loved most about Croatia, it was a fam trip opportunity, so it was in the off season. Uh, normally we would travel there April through October. And I have to say I learned a lot about the destination. It is a very long and skinny country. And it's got a very interesting, um, I guess, country line, if you will, which I'll tell you about in a minute. But what I thought was so cool is starting up in Zagreb, it's a very modern city. We stayed in one of the most amazing hotels, the Westin. The Croatian president was there, so you know it's quality, right? And we just had a great time um, exploring the city of Zagreb. Our local specialist in Zagreb, it was phenomenal. He told us the best stories about the little uh, Croatian Zagreb heart that have a mirror in it, which I just thought was amazing. I'll share with you. If you haven't seen them, they're little red hearts, um, and they have a little tiny mirror in the center. And the guy who came up with the idea gave them to the woman that he loved and said, now you'll see what's always in my heart. And of course, it reflected her face which is very sweet and touching right but what happens if it doesn't work out so you can actually take the heart give it to the next girl and it works just the same right and that's what I love about Croatia just the fun loving spirit of the country it is the most beautiful destination the Adriatic coast is absolutely stunning they have oyster farmers on the coastline they have the history and some wonderful stories it's just a very fascinating destination then on top of that you add all the excitement about Game of Thrones from Dubrovnik and other sites um, that are filmed throughout Croatia and it just has a lot to offer for um, travelers what I also thought was interesting, Dubrovnik is a very um, popular city. So you know a lot of cruise lines go there for the day. We actually stay there a couple of days, which is fantastic. And the property that we stay at is on the ocean. So guests can go out and go to the beach. They can enjoy the water. Plus they get into Dubrovnik to see the walled city and spend time there because it's a fabulous place, right? If you know if you've been there. What I thought was really interesting though is our local specialist Ida, who took us through Dubrovnik, was explaining that as you walk through the paved stoneways, in the summer you literally can't see the ground. That's how many people there are. About 10 years ago, they were getting maybe 7 million visitors. This year, they're gonna have 18 million visitors to Croatia. It is what is hot and up and coming for Europe. What I love though about that story is that you know when to send people. Spring and fall are going to be your best times because the weather in the Adriatic is fabulous. It was in the, um, we were there in December in the heart of winter and it was um, beautiful. It was like in the, I think high 50s, low 60s, gorgeous weather. Um, if you're there earlier in the fall, of course, it'll still be warmer and you can take advantage of the ocean and all of the beautiful beachside resorts that are there in the south. I also love Bosnia, and I'm going to follow up with a separate uh, video on Bosnia because I think it deserves its own little standalone. It was truly amazing, and I think combining Croatia and Bosnia together logistically is required, but um, for your travel experience, it is required as well because the dichotomy of those two places just make you enjoy them all the more. So be sure to check out Croatia, Slovenia, and Bosnia in um, some of our itineraries that we carry from Trafalgar. We've added new trips to these areas, so there is lots to see and discover for this, this destination. As always, thank you for tuning in this week, and be on the lookout for next week's installment. Bye, guys.